plane shapes are an easy way to control the shapes of your character without using or touching the rig of your character. Plane shapes are controlled with values from 0 to 1. For example, I have a base model here and I have a target model that is smiling. From 0 to 1, plane shapes control how this character, this base model, is going to transform or blend to the target model. If I select this smile, as you can see, if I increase up the value, the left model, the base model, is going to look like the right model. On the one value, it's exactly the target model. And on the zero value, it's the base model. Everything in between is going to be something between the base model and the target model. Here I have prepared for you three different cases to make blend shapes and finally we're going to move them into Unreal Engine. The first case is this model, the Ruby, you remember here from the rigging process. This version of Ruby is a rigged character as you can see. This is the rigged character. I have another version of the Ruby. She is not rigged and we're going to make the blend shapes for her. We can make blend shapes without the rigs. And the third case is something like hard surface models that have doors opening or closing or it can be something like the mechanical things that can move separately but it's still connected to the one base and they need actually to be separated as you can see there is three different objects here okay let's clear the blend shapes for every object to start everything again from the scratch okay the first case is the model already with the rig to make a blend shape for the character with the rig, you can just select the model, create a blend shape, go to the pose mode and select any pose. You need to make a duplicate from the model and the rig. Let's move it aside, make another duplicate just in order to make a second blend shape. Now for creating blend shapes for the main model, for the base model, we need to make any adjustments for the other two characters and then move those adjustments to the base character as a blend shape. To demonstrate this, let's go to the character. We're trying to make it a small expression for this character. Select the rig, go to the pose mode by going up here and select pose mode or pressing Ctrl plus tab. As you can see, I go to the object mode and the pose mode. Now I create the expression for the smile. something fast in order to save time for this video now let's go to the other model select the rig go to the pose mode and something like a surprise expression is good for this one okay nice now we want to create blend shapes for this model from these two expressions that we just now created to do so click the first model that has the expression shift click the base model in order to select it also and in the shape keys don't press the plus button here you click on this little arrow button choose join as shapes as you can see there is a new shape created for the base model and if i go from zero to one you can see the character is smiling just like this character here okay i name it smile the process is the same for the other expression select the expression character select the base character click on the little arrow and join as shapes i name it surprise if i move the value the smile the character is a smiling let's hide the rig to see it better select the model if i increase up the value the character is smiling if i increase up the value on surprise the character is surprised okay we save this character in order to move to unreal engine later in this video Let's go to the second case, the character that doesn't have any rig. To create a blend shape for this type of character, in the data menu, go to the shape keys, click on the plus icon. The first one is the basis. Click on the plus icon one more time and with the and with the key one selected, go to the edit mode. In this version, you need to edit your character with moving the vertices, faces, without any rig. Select some vertices and enable proportional editing. It's like sub-selection in other programs. And remember to decrease or increase the proportion of size. Sometimes if your size is too much, you move the whole character. Adjust it to your model. I think something like this could be good. Yeah, it's good. I make a smile expression again. Something like this. And when I pop out from the edit mode to the object mode, my character is like the normal. It's like the base character. It's because the value on this shape key is zero. If I crank it up to the one, you can see the character is smiling right now. So with a character without any rig, you're going to use the edit mode alongside the shape keys in order to make shape keys for this character. Let's name it.
But these type of models, if you're going to join the models together like this model, you have some problems uh, when you're trying to make a shape keys for this type of models because they are not organic and they are hard surface. If I want to demonstrate to you what kind of problems going to happen if you use a joint model and do it with edit mode like this character. Okay, let's create a blend shape, go to the edit mode. And if I jump out from the edit mode, you can see I have a blend key and the doors are closed. If I increase the value, you can see the doors are deforming in their way in order to rotate to 90 degrees. Shrinking, growing, shrinking, growing. Of course, it's not an ideal way for making blend shapes for the hard surface stuff. To do something like this, I recommend you to make them separate and have a base for that. For example, these doors have a base if you have a helmet or an armor that needs to some parts move alongside that armor always there is a base for moving parts there is no moving part that move around without any base select the base create a new shape key p1 increase the value to one right click on the value and select copy as new driver go to the each door and remember to make the origin of each object on the rotating edge to do something like that go to the edit mode select that edge move the cursor Come out of the edit mode and select object, set origin, origin to the 3D cursor. You can set the origin for the other door the same way. Rotate it, rotate the other door and make sure change the origin to individual origins. Okay, the door is open. Now we copied a driver from the value of this shape key and we need to paste it on the values of the rotation of these two doors. The value is Z, right click, paste driver. As you can see, it locked on the 57 degrees. If I move this, you can see it's open to the 57. We're going to fix that in a moment. Just copy the driver to the other door. As you can see, it's also the 57, but this door is opening in the positive direction and this door should be open in the negative directions. To fix that, right click on the rotation axis and open drivers editor. There are two points in the driver editor. The zero point means the zero value on the blend shape and it is, as you can see, zero degree. It is the closed door. Zoom out and find the other point. This point is the one value on the blend shape key. And as you can see, it's locked on the 57.3 degrees. We move it all the way to 90 degrees. As you can see, the door is completely 90 degree opens. Select the other one, find the second point for the other one too, and move it into minus 90 degree. Okay, close the editor, select the base. And if I move the value, you can see the doors are closing and opening without any deformation alongside the way. If I keep it in the middle of the value and select the other one and keep it also on the middle, as you can see, there is no deformation on this one, but there is shrinking and deformation on this one. It's a good way to make blend shapes for hard surface stuff using drivers. As you can see, I am copying a driver and copying to the moving object that I need to control by this value. Okay, in order to move your models to the Unreal Engine, select the model and the rig, go to the file, export, FBX, check selected objects because I don't want to select everything in my scene. You can create animations inside Blender and move it to the Unreal Engine too. That's completely fine. But the important thing here is inside the geometry. Before exporting, make sure to uncheck the apply modifiers. If you wait on the apply modifier, there's a warning. It prevents exporting shape keys. And we want the shape keys to be exported to the Unreal Engine. So uncheck this one and export as FX. I do the same for this character. File, export, FX, and uncheck apply modifiers. Okay, we are inside the Unreal Engine. And let's create a new folder here. We just need to select our FX file and drag it inside the Unreal Engine. 
the menu is popping up, there are two important checkbox here. The first one is an skeletal mesh. Even if your model don't have rig, you need to check the skeletal mesh. If the Unreal doesn't behave your model as an skeletal mesh, it doesn't bring the blend shapes alongside your mesh. So check the skeletal mesh for every character you're going to import, even without the rigs. And the second option is inside the mesh advanced you need to enable import move targets check this and import up okay we have our skeletons our physics our mesh and some materials for the head hair and body it's okay we're going to open up our skeletal mesh and as you can see in the morph target we have our blend shapes that we created inside blender if i change it you can see the character is morphing you can also go negative inside the Unreal Engine because the blend shapes and morph targets are positions of the vertices. If it goes into the positive, it can go into the negative. If I crank up the value for the surprise, you can see the character is doing the blend shape. It's the same for the other character without the rig. You need to check the skeletal mesh because the character doesn't have a rig. Unreal uncheck the skeletal mesh, but you need to check the skeletal mesh and put the skeleton on now. It's fine. And remember to check the import move targets. Import all. If you open up the skeletal mesh, you can see we have our blend shape. Increase it and decrease it. we we'll move our target to the blend shape. For the last model, the drivers working fine inside the blender. As you can see, they are great. But if you're going to move it to inside the Unreal Engine, things are going to get messed up. The doors will come as skeletons and only we have the cube as a skeletal mesh and we don't have any move targets. Unfortunately, for this type of models, there is no proper way to transfer the drivers from Blender to Unreal Engine. Other softwares have some solutions, but in Blender, you need to choose either join them together and create a blend shape, but you have the deformation, as I told you earlier. If it's not something that bother your animation or your rig, it's fine. You can, just like other models, export it and import it into the Unreal Engine like the other models. And your blend key will work just like inside the Blender with the formations, as you can see. But for hard surface, there's another way and you need to rig your hard surface and move the rig and the model to the Unreal Engine. And instead of creating the shape keys or blend keys or morph targets, you need to make blueprints inside Unreal Engine. And those blueprints, for example, control the closing and opening the objects. The shape keys work best for the organic models, but you can use the rigs and blueprints for hard surface. Or you can just create animations with the drivers inside the Blender and move the animations to the Unreal Engine and use them, for example, closing or opening the animations when you need inside the Unreal Engine. But that's another course for another time. That's it for the blend shapes. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ask your questions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.